Blessed day, beloved. Blessed day. May the divine grace be upon all of us. Blessed week. And beloved, if it's your first time to join us, you are welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe, to like, and comment. He is your emerald servant, Moropule, spiritualist master. Beloved, we still on our topic as we started with our previous one to say stop killing witchcraft. Because these things, it's really affecting us as individuals and us as a community. I did explain the type of curse people are attracting for themselves, for the community by committing those actions. Those of us who have read history and studied, you can understand that it's been long since people been attacking or people accusing them of being witchcraft, but they never solve problems. Instead, they've caused more curse upon themselves. So I want to own you to stay away from that. And then you come out with question to say, Master, them they are hammering me, you are asking me to take no step, to do nothing. I say, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you will do nothing. What I'm saying, avoid to commit physical violence against another person based on witchcraft allegations. So as I promised you last week, we are going to have a series of where I'll be teaching you based on your request, based on your questions, how to protect yourself or how to fight back when you are a victim of a witchcraft attack. If someone lies to you that they don't have witchcraft in their uh, relatives or family backgrounds, it's a lie. All the people are affected by that because witches is a spiritual legend which they have to exist. Either we agree with them or we don't agree with them, they have the right to exist the same way we exist. The difference between victims and the witches is this. Those are victims, some of them they don't know who they are. They are neglecting to do their own rituals they need to do to get things into in the easy way. Those are witches, they follow their doctrine, they practice what they are required to do on a daily basis. And that is why you, you end up seeing them as if they are overcoming you. I'm not agreeing with you to say you must hit them back, you say must come back. No. You must work on preventing them from operating in your house, from operating in your life, from affecting your work, your marriage, your children, your finances. You can do that. And I'm going to be teaching you with more steps now. Very easy. The initial step, beloved, I want us to be learning now about the witch hours. The initial work uh, time for the witches is midnight to 3 a.m. During that period, the witchcraft are in operations. That is when mission, final mission, have been achieved and accomplished. There's other hours which you're going to learn, but I'm informing you between midnight to 3 a.m. <coughs> If the witches they want to exterminate somebody, that is the time. If they want to send the death certificate of someone, that is the time. If they want to pass the curse onto someone, that is the time. And you as a spiritual leader, you as a spiritual being, you as a spiritual working person, what do you do during those times? If you are spending it drinking, enjoying, or sleeping, the witches, they're going to overcome you. Because them, they're during that time, they're at work, you are relaxing. For those of you who are doing prayer, do your prayers. For those of you who are doing rituals and ceremony, do them. For those of you who do not know, ask. 
follow our previous videos. We have teach about these things. So I'm going to advise during midnight to 3 a.m. Do your prayers. Do your incantations. Do your ritual, etc. What you need to do based on your spiritual line. Do them. If you need guidance, our numbers are here. You contact. We're going to guide you. Because if you are sleeping during that time, and those who are fighting against you are awake, what are you expecting? You're going to be going and accusing wrong people well. It's your own negligence that opened that doors for them to come and operate. They are answers you are the product. If you don't know how to put, to put your security measures, the stranger will come and steal in your home. It is the same life. Which is the operating? Is the spiritual system that exists. Neither I or you can never stop it. We will never stop it. We are called to survive them. And in order for us to survive them is to take the necessary measures for them not to affect us. So I was, I'm busy telling you about the time. Midnight to 3 a.m. That are crucial time. I'll advise for those of you who are religious, do your prayers. For those who are spiritual, do your incantation, do your rituals. Practice your rit in order for you to prevent them from operating in your ground, for, to prevent them from taking advantage from, of you. And then you go to the time now. We're going to take the additional time, like uh, 6.30, 9.30, 12.00, 30, 3.30 in the afternoon. 6.30 in the evening and 9.30 in the night. I'm repeating. The initial hours was midnight to 3 a.m. That is the time when everything is being finalized. But we've got hours during the day where witches are hunting. They are putting their traps to catch their target. And those hours, pay attention to them. You found 6.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 12.30 noon, 3.30 in the afternoon, 6.30 p.m. in the afternoon, in the evening, and 9.30 in the night. Those specific hours are hours where witches, they can call upon or summon some spirit to trap you, to make you fall in the trap. So you need to be careful of engaging in unnecessary argument. Just even with stranger, avoid first to be going out during those time. If you have no reason to be out, avoid people at places like public market, places like uh, 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 taverns, more public places where there's a lot of traction of people, where there's a lot of movement. Around those hours, avoid. Even if you need to attend event around those hours, you better be ill or later, not on the same speak hours. And avoid any type of argument, verbal fight or physical fight that arise around those hours because witches are already set the trap. That's why you see people are going to prison. They don't know why they, they are to prison, why they end up killing somebody, why they end up committing what they did. And people accuse them of being under the influence. No, they just fall victim. They fall victim of witchcraft curse during those hours. Witches, you need to avoid public gathering around those specific times. You need to avoid any physical fight, any physical argument, because during those times they can send up a spirit of fight, argument. And small things upset you. And if they find you a spiritual naked, you don't have the discernment. You end up raising a hand on an innocent person and regretting later. The glass is broken. So those hours are, are some things that you need, you truly need to pay attention. I'm repeating, you can avoid to go out without doing your daily rituals. Some people, you just wake up from your bed, you go and bath and you will go out. When you are waking up late, 
when they already take the lack, they already take everything. That was sometimes you guys are waking up, you are very tired. You are starting the day late, very tired. What are you expect to achieve? When people already absorb everything in the early, early bed is the fresh one, the fresh food. You are waking up late. You won't succeed. Because the world does not work according to your feelings, according to your programs. The spiritual world does not work according to your feelings, according to your program. So wake up. These hours that have specified 6.30, 9.30, 12.30, 3.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Those hours are the time where witches are setting traps during between 6.30 to 12.30, they are setting threat. From 12 upward, they start hitting. If they find you weak, that you're gonna see this guy find himself in accident, so it was a fight, he just failed, oh, this and that. So there are those kind of reality. May that does not say go and accuse the go at the corner because you don't know who said it. That is a witch time. Yes, you can be correct that that particular person you're accusing is a witch, but maybe that particular person is not the one who have set that trap it doesn't mean if you got a soldier who residing in your area and they say there's a soldier who killed somebody all of you are going to kill the innocent soldier because it's a soldier master so now you can find those witches not only in your area but you are living with them in the same house how do you protect yourself because you are preventing you from taking actions how to avoid it you're gonna need the following in order for you to protect yourself the first thing you're gonna need you're gonna need sea salt something like this sea salt after sea salt you're gonna need an anointing oil depend on which one you have i give an example like this one you need an anointing oil after the anointing oil you're gonna need something like a basin or a boil like this a boil where you can put water inside and then after having this type of boil or basin, you're gonna also need your garlic. You're gonna need garlic. You're gonna need ginger, raw ginger like this one. You're gonna need a candle of any type. I just give you an example. You can use a color that suits with your line of rituals, or you can use the white one. The red one is fine. You need a candle and you need matches or lighter. Now, what are we going to do with the sea salt? You'll put the sea salt in the four corner of your home. When you are putting them, you are talking. You, you can be talking and say any negative energy in these premises. Any spirit does not conquer with mine in these houses. I'm neutralizing them. May this salt neutralize any negative energies. After putting the sea salt, you're going to take the raw ginger. You cut them into slices, or you can smash a bit. You put them on top of those four corners where there's a salt. And you say any spirit of failure, any spirit of dryness, any spirit that is making you lacking money in the house, lacking peace, shall get out of that house. You put ginger in the four corner on top of the salt. Once you feel done with those four corners, you come now. You're going to take your basin or your bowl. It depends. And then you're going to take four garlic. The four slices. 
let me show you. You gonna you open a gallery the way I'm opening. You see how they are, and you're gonna take one like this. gonna take one two three and then you're gonna take the fourth one and four once you take them you're gonna take your anointed oil you drop three drop you gonna take your sea salt if you take a considerable quantity you mix there and you can take now your either holy water or normal water you put you hold it and speak. Any power in my house, anyone with spiritual power in this house or who is coming to control me in this house, to work in this house, if they are outside, they shall never come in. If they are in this house, they shall never go out. They must see the door. They must see fire and water only. You take this boil and the mix. You can add up your own weight. I'm just explaining in order for you to get an idea. For those who can need more questions, you are welcome to ask. You can add up your own weight and you're going to leave it exactly at the door. In front of the door, but inside the house. After you have locked the door. Once you, we are done to do that, in order for you to protect any other entrance, you're gonna take your anointing oil, you recharge it for those who are those who are ready to recharge. You empower it. If it was given by a spiritual master, by a religious leader, or something that has been anointed, it's fine. If it's not, you can ask the one closest to you to anoint it, or you can still ask us to and contact us to get more anointing oil. You're gonna take the anointing oil. You can anoint your main doors, your windows of all the corners of your house. For those with different rooms, and if you got a access to those rooms, you can put the salt and ginger in all the rooms. For those who are sharing, then you need to do it within the space which is under your control. You will talk, you add up world, you anoint the windows, the doors, you close. Don't mind about who the witch is. The salt and the ginger that you are putting, leave them for seven days. You don't move them. The water, you can redo it for the next seven days. To anoint the doors, that you can do it once. To put the oat on the door with the mix of garlic and them, that one you can do it for the seven days. The salt that you put and the ginger the corner, you leave them for seven days. I am telling you, <coughs> whomever is a witch in that house will never go out. They're going to start fighting with you. They're going to end up running away from that home. Suffocate them for seven days. No contact. Cut them contact. And then, if there are people whom you suspect they're a group and you are confused, you're going to take a piece of paper. You can just take any small piece of paper. It doesn't matter really the size. You just take like a paper like this, you cut a, a small piece of uh, this size and you write the name. 
you write the name, for example, write master. If you are suspecting I'm bewitching you, master, leave me alone. Master, this and that. You write there. You light your candle. You, you, you light your candle and you are talking. Every single day, start burning that paper with the name. If it's a list of people, you cut them on small papers. When you are doing your prayer, you are talking. Leave my life alone. Get up uh, my work. Get up my family. Get up my finances. You are burning those witches. Do it for the next seven days as well. Observe the behavior of all those people that you are burning. And tell me. Those who are guilty, you're going to see how their behavior will change. They will start sick. And if you notice that these people, they are trying to resist, take it for 21 days. Don't have pity for them. Take it for 21 days. Keep on burning them. Keep on pushing. Keep on burning. I can assure you. I can assure you. You won't have time to go and fight the witches. You won't have time to go and beat them. You won't have time to go and attract curse upon the community. I wanted to share with you this menu for today. Tomorrow we are sharing another one. So I want you to learn now how to protect yourself and how to fight back. How to use the things that you have in the house without going and spend much. How you can say it unless you are too weak that you might need an assistance. For those who need guidance, for those who need advice, you are welcome to contact me. Please do not forget to share this video so that a lot of people can get the knowledge and we can save our community from unnecessary curse. We can save innocent people from being killed. If somebody is a witch, steal them. In our next one tomorrow, I'm going to teach more on how to fight back, how to prevent. And I would like to receive your comments, your questions, so that I'm able to teach based on your need. Please, if it's your first time, do not forget to subscribe to like, to comment, and to share. May peace leave your spirit. May the divine grace be upon each and every one of you who follow. And thank you for your precious time. See you tomorrow, same time, same hour, with Spiritualist Master. Be blessed. Bless you with your family and your evening.